I'm with Professor Robert Winston and just ahead of his Learning Live keynote, um, I've managed to get him to um, kindly answer a couple of questions. Um, Professor Winston, how is science helping us to understand better how we learn? Well, I think science invariably helps you in every sorts of ways to do everything better, really. I mean, I think it, you know, it's almost a given. But how it's doing it, I think, particularly, has been a massive revolution in our understanding of the function of the brain. And that's happened because of imaging technology, largely. So over the last 30 years, we've not only developed electrical recording of brain activity, we can now measure blood flow through different parts of the brain. And we can also use uh, radioisotopes to look at brain function. Most recently, we can even look at magnetic changes, uh, changes in the magnetic field around the brain. All of these have given us a pattern of how the brain works. That plus the ability to stick an electrode in a single, amazingly, in a single neuron in the brain has made a massive uh, difference in how we learn. And a lot of that work, of course, depends actually on work in animals. Okay, and uh, can we expect then over the coming years to see more emerging research? Yes, I think we can. I think we will see um, uh, research which is going to be of real value in actually understanding better how humans learn and therefore how you reinforce memory, how you reinforce learning. And it's very interesting. If you look, for example, one of the areas I'm particularly interested in is learning music. And the, the first publication about music and the brain was only about 1999 uh, and there was one publication that year, none the following year and then a couple the following year after that. Um, last This last year, the last 12 months, have been over a thousand um, publications in scientific journals about musical learning and how we can enhance it. So I think we're going to see uh, a phenomenal um, amount of activity in this area because it is fundamentally very important to our function. And um, are there any specific learning challenges for the adult brain? Yes, I think there are. Um, if we just go backwards, I think the first challenge that's obvious is that in an ageing society, we tend to lose our memory um, as we get older. And so one of the ways is, how do you prevent that happening to a deleterious extent? And I think that would be one of the great promises of uh, modern neuroscience. Um, in the uh, going forwards, I think um, you know the best time to learn is as a child, and I'll be saying that, that actually today because clearly the brain is developing maximally at that stage. Um, but we can do a great deal to compensate for lack of learning, and the idea of lifelong learning, I think, is a very important um, principle. Um, how do we do that? Well, we can do it in a number of ways. We can do it by enhancing the environment that we're in. But the environment may be very important in the quality of learning. Um, we may actually be able to tailor the kind of learning to particular types of personality, for example. Um, the use of certain techniques in learning, repetition is one obvious one, humour is another one, uh, the use of visual symbols and uh, the clever use of language. Of course, it depends what you want to learn. Mm -hmm. And just a final question about how you like to learn. How, how, what's, what kind of learning preferences well, do I, you Well, I have? actually take a view. I mean, what I've done in my life recently, particularly, I suppose, because I've retired several times already now, um, I sort of take on jobs where I think I'm going to learn something. I mean, that's what I do. I mean, I, I did something recently called uh, Jamie's Dream School on television, which was sort of about teaching other people to learn. But the reason really why I did it was because I thought I might learn something new. And I think part of the uh, answer to your question is not fully answering it, but it's... I think it's just the recognition that if you're learning, you're always doing something useful, um, possibly for yourself and occasionally for other people. Professor Winston, thanks very much. Pleasure.